right over the top and one beside it. Hey, we'll take that. Ready for this one, guys? The Target Danny Lobby Darts Review begins right now. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Worldwide here. We got a great review to kick the week off with. We're going to be taking a look at the darts from the fastest American player. In my opinion, I think he throws his darts pretty much at the same pace as rapid Ricky Evans. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at the Target Danny Lobby Darts. Now, I've had these things for quite a while now, and to be honest, I forgot where I got them. I'm gonna go with double top darts. I believe I got them there. That's pretty much the cheapest place on the internet to get them, and if you add in that discount code, I think it saves you an extra 5%, something like that. So yeah, pretty pretty much the cheapest place you can get these darts. Um, I'll have the link down in the pinned comment for you. If you want to take a look there, go ahead. You can get them at multiple other stores as well. But um, yeah, it should be a great review. He's an awesome player, left-handed player for those of you that don't know. And uh, yeah, he plays at an incredible pace. His counting is some of the best I've ever seen and just an all-around phenomenal player. Great guy as well, young kid. So uh, yeah, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's just jump right into this. We'll take a close up look, go over some stats and dimensions, and then after that, I'm gonna get these things on the board and we'll see how they fly. And I'll give you my feedback on what I think of the Target Danny Lobby Darts. So, here we go. Okay, quick look at the packaging here. Although to be honest with you, I don't think too many people care about the packaging all that much. I know I don't, but uh, you know, one thing I can say, I do like that the Target Darts come fully assembled, ready to rock, right out of the box. But yeah, we have our typical Target cardboard packaging here. Inside, we had the Target warranty card. These are acclaimed 22.2 grams. We'll double check that here in just a minute and see how the match weighting goes. But as far as the darts, one thing I can say about these things, if I can get a little focus, is that, um, you know, they're not as grippy as they may appear to be, especially here in the front. Pretty smooth overall feel to them. But um, what do you say? We get a little bit closer look and I'll run down all the stats and dimensions on the barrel. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. A little bit closer look at the darts there. Great looking set of darts in my opinion. And you know what? I really like what Target did with the coating here because you know when you take a brand new set of darts out of the box and they're fully coated, the entire barrel is coated. Well, they look great out of the box. However, after a couple months of use, especially on the front end, they look all beat and chipped up. Well, not in this case. I mean, you got natural tungsten up front, coating in the back. So yeah, these darts are gonna be looking good months and months after using them. So I guess we can start up front. We've got, yeah, 32 millimeter silver, nah, silver points. Not a fan of silver points. These, however, stick out of the barrel 27 millimeters. I guess, I don't know, silver points are all right. Just take some sandpaper, scuff them up, and they'll work just fine. However, if I was using these things, I would definitely repoint them. So the barrels themselves, 90% tungsten. The barrel length, kind of surprising here, a little on the long side for sure, 54.3 millimeters long. Yeah, so definitely a very long barrel. Now with these being a straight barrel dart, the maximum width, 6.3 millimeters wide. And we saw the warranty card, these were advertised as 22 grams, the warranty card said 22.2. Match weighting was, nah, it was decent, I suppose. First barrel went on the scale, 22.15 grams. The second barrel, 22.18. And the third barrel, 22.21 grams. So I, it's decent, I guess, as long as it's under one tenth of a gram off from lightest to heaviest, no big deal. You're never gonna notice that anyway. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look and I'm gonna talk about the grip here and I'm gonna show you kind of a neat feature in case you guys throw with a 23 gram barrel. Okay, there we go. Nice close up look at the barrels there. And um, yeah, great looking set of barrels. Like I said earlier in the video, not as grippy as they look, especially up front. You've got this horizontal milling. You even have some pixels right there on the nose cone. Honest to God, I barely, barely feel those. Not much difference between the front or the middle right here. And matter of fact, I don't really physically feel any difference between the natural tungsten or the coated back end. It feels, yeah, it feels the same to me. I don't notice any difference. As a result, I'd go ahead and give these overall a level 
two grip on a scale of one to five. Now I got some great news for the players that use a 23 gram barrel. So listen up here. These come in a 22 gram barrel, which this is what these are. They also come in a 24 gram version. So what do you do about the 23 gram players? Well, check this out guys, the back end. Look at this. We've got the, uh, got the point here. Watch how far these sink into the back. So these are drilled out over 18 millimeters deep in the back, 18.6 to be exact. So what that means is you could use tungsten putty, throw it in the back end and easily bump these 22 gram barrels up to 23 grams and you're good to go. So yeah, if you use a 23 gram barrel, these are perfect. And by the way, guys, if you're using tungsten putty on the back end, do not, do not use the stuff that's made for fishing. Use the Pinewood Derby tungsten putty. Cause the stuff made for fishing is real sticky. So it just, it makes a mess. So yeah, use the Pinewood Derby tungsten putty, pack it in the back end. You could probably bump these up a gram and a half to be honest. So uh, yeah, there we go. But what do you say we get these things on the board? See how they fly and I'm not sure what stem and flight combo I'm gonna use. I don't think I'm gonna use these to be honest. But uh, I'll have a look around, see what I can find and um, we will see how these throw. So yeah, let's get them on the board, have a go. Okay, just had a little warm up and check this out. We switched things up quite a bit. I'm going with the Target Phil Taylor Vision Edge Flights. Now the reason I'm using these things is because when I was using the uh, standard size Danny Lobby darts or flights, when the dart entered the board, like for example, if it hit the left hand corner of the Trouble 20, the rest of the bed was blocked just because the dart was leaning that way. So I don't know, probably because we have a near 55 millimeter long barrel Combine that, I have a really hard throw and a standard size flight. It just, it just wasn't working for me personally. I think a standard size flight probably works well for 95% of the players out there. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, hey, good first dart. <clears throat> Horrible second dart, it slipped right off of my fingers. And a little bit high on that third one. Oh, and if you're wondering about my grip, I'll put a picture of the dart right above here, but I'm gripping point of finger and thumb right on those five silver multi rings right before where the uh, coating starts. So uh, it just seems like that's kind of the balance point. It just feels, feels natural to grip right there for me. I would say that, you know, this barrel being almost 55 millimeters long, you could really grip it front, middle, rear. Doesn't really matter too much and on top of that the barrel feels it has the same feel from the uh, from the nose cone all the way to the stem I mean consistent consistent grip all the way through there is right towards the back half though there is that smooth spot where the target logo is although you really don't notice it to be honest with these darts Well, that one got away from me. All right, come on, right down the middle. Oh, now I'm blocked. That one was, that second dart was ever so slightly tailed down. So we're gonna go for a cover. Third dart saver. Yeah, they're flying really well and I'm just surprised at how, kind of how smooth they feel. No sharp edges, obviously, nothing like that. Clean release. And uh, actually, I think it was, was it that turn? Yeah, well, I guess it was that turn. That first dart got away from me. So I think the more you, if I spent a little more time warming up, I think the darts would stick to my fingers a little bit better. Oh, that's not in. Crap. <laughs> you know, funny enough though, I haven't seen, I haven't watched recently, but you take uh, Danny Lobby and um, Danny Baggish. I don't think either of those guys use the darts that are sold under their name. I'm not, not 100% sure, but yeah, I think they use different, different darts, which is not all that uncommon, to be honest with you. Whew, third dart is saving my butt, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great dart. The length though might not work well for most people. Like I said, I've said this the third time now, near 55 millimeters. It's, um, it's a little bit tricky to get used to. 
But once you do, man, they do go so straight into the trouble. One. <laughs> Third dart saver again. <laughs> hey, well, I'm going to call it a wrap right there. It's already uh, getting pretty warm in my room, 24 Celsius. Beautiful day out today. But, um, hey, we do have uh, two more clips for you. We're going to do the uh, 180 in the next clip, and then after that we'll have a close-up. And, um, matter of fact, it's probably one of my funniest 180s. Had uh, all sorts of things going on, as you're about to see. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the 180 clip. Stick around after that. We'll do the uh, close-up of the 180. And for the 180, I did switch back to the stock flights. I just thought it looked better on video where you could see the lobby. So, yeah, it just looked better on video. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the two clips, guys. Here we go. We're going to have a light-headed 180. <laughs> I'm dropping darts. She's out there sneezing. <laughs> Did that go in? <laughs> Boom! That was my first drop dart light-headed girlfriend sneezing in the other room. 180. Uh, well, there it is, guys. Funny way to end the video. I really hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review of the Target Danny Lobby Darts. Um, again, I'll have the link to Double Top Darts. I'm pretty sure I bought them there. I'll have the link down in the bin comment. You can check them out there. And um, after this clip, stick around. We're going to do the close-up of that 180. might take a little bit. I think that was like a 10-second 180. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed everything. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. Later. Oh, we're going to have a light-headed 180. <laughs> I'm dropping darts. She's out there sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> Did I go in? <laughs>